Good morning, friends. Today it's September 14th. We're going to do our math lesson. Check my progress. This is just for me to see what you already know. The way this lesson is going to work is it's not really a lesson. So I'm going to read the directions to you and you're going to pause the video after each direction is read to you to answer the question. Once you're done, you'll set your timer and go on Dreambox. I'll be calling groups today. When you come for my teacher lesson, you're gonna bring your paper and your pencil and we'll check your answers and we will work any problems out that are tricky to you. So at the top, go ahead and put your name now. Your name is not on your paper when you come to my teacher lesson. You will not get a dojo point, just so you know. All right, the first box says, oh, and we're doing page 47, page 47. I'm not gonna write anything down because this is for me to see what you know, not what Ms. Helmick knows. I'm just gonna read the directions to you. Okay, progress, page 47. So now let's look at the directions. It says draw lines to match. So I'm gonna read the definition and then read the words on the left side. I'm gonna read the definition first and then read the words on the left side. Both add-ins are the same. Is that add? Both add-ins are the same. Is that doubles? Both add-ins are the same. Is that count on? Both add-ins are the same. Is that add-ins? Draw your line now. Three plus four equals seven, and then it has a number line with it. It starts at three, counts up four, one, two, three, four, and ends with the sum seven. Is that the number line showing add? Is the number line showing doubles? Is the number line showing count on? Is the number line showing add-ins? Draw your line now. The numbers you add in an addition number sentence. The numbers you add in an addition number sentence. Is that add? The numbers you add in addition number sentence. Is that doubles? The numbers you add in addition number sentence. Is that count on? The numbers you add in addition number sentence. Is that add in? Draw your line now. You should only have one word on the left side that doesn't have a line drawn to it yet. Six plus eight equals 14. Double stack and it's not showing count on hint hint. <laughs> so is that add or add ins? I don't know. All right, pause the video, complete your vocabulary check. When you're done, push play. You should have four lines drawn. Now let's look at concept check at the bottom of page 47. There are three math problems for you. It is showing you the quantity of adding. That means you can switch the add-ins and get the same sum. Go ahead and solve number five, number six, number seven. Number five says seven plus zero equals, zero plus seven equals. Number six says three plus six equals, six plus three equals. Number seven says two plus five equals, five plus two equals. Put your sum on the blank line. Pause the video, do that now. You should have completed the whole first side of the page. Let's turn the page over. Look at the back side. It says add, circle, the doubles facts. Number eight is zero plus three. Number nine is one plus one. Number 10 is three plus four. Number 11 is 9 plus 9. Pause the video, solve those problems. You should have this first row completed. Now we're going to look at the next row. It says make a 10 to add. I'm going to show you how you're going to do that today because it's written differently than when we did it before. When we did it before, we had a special box to help us out. I need two more to make this 8 to 10. So I'm going to put two here, I'm going to make that a 10. Two plus something equals four. Two, three, four. Oop, two. So now I have 10 plus two, because I use this number and this number. 
10 plus 2 equals 5. 9 plus 5. I need 1 more to make 10. One more to make ten. Five. Oh, wait, four. I need one more to make ten for the nine. So I take one out of the five. But I need to figure out how many fingers that leaves me when I take one from five. So I have five. I'm going to take one away. That leaves me four. So now I have ten plus four. All right, the bigger number is the seven, so I need to figure out how many more I need to make 10. With the seven, seven, eight, nine, 10. I need three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Three. Four, five, six. That gives me my three left over. So now I'm gonna do 10 plus three. Six plus eight. Eight is the bigger number. I need to figure out how many I need to make ten. Eight, nine, ten. Two, something. Two, three, four, five, six. I have four fingers up. So now I have ten plus four. Solve this row. Once you're done, push play. The next row says find each sum. One plus four plus six. I want you to circle the two numbers you're adding together first and write their sum next to them like this. One plus four plus six. I know four and six are 10. So now I'm doing one plus 10 equals 11. You're going to do that for number 17 18 and 19. Push pause, solve those problems now. All right, you should have just completed 16, 17, 18, 19. Look at number 20. Lou saw six penguins at the zoo. He also saw three flamingos and two pelicans. How many birds did he see in all? In all is important information. That tells me I need to add. Pause the video, solve that problem now. All right, we're on the last question. This question says, Allie's dog has eight puppies. Luca's dog had the same number of puppies. How many puppies are there in all? Same number, which is this one right here. How many puppies are there in all? I gotta circle the question. In all tells me to add. Go ahead and solve that problem on your own. Color in the circle that you think is the correct answer and write a number sentence. Right here at the bottom, I want you to write how you figured out your answer. That's a number sentence. Then color in the answer you come up with. Once you are done, you're gonna go to Dreambox, do it for 20 minutes. And while you're doing Dreambox, I'll be calling people over to check their answers and see how they did.